Hey everybody, Paul James Curry here from the Income Highway and last week I showed you how you can look at somebody's eBay feedback but today I'm going to show you how you can look at somebody's Amazon seller feedback. Now you have to remember Amazon seller feedback is completely different from reviews. So let me just point out quickly that this particular product here, okay, has 458 customer reviews, okay, now that's for the product itself. But for the seller, if you want to see how the seller is doing, what you need to do is you need to go down and click on the sold by and then it'll say sold by in this particular case it's Cresimo I think that's how you pronounce that by the way I'm not affiliated with these people at all it's just a I always use a cocktail shaker as an example I actually really like this listing as well it's it's everything I talk about what you guys should do so if you want to check it out look at this as, as an example and um, now I'm not, I'm not saying copy this but I'm saying what they've done here and um, you know even their pictures and providing an ebook and all that sort of stuff and using FBA it's all exactly what they should be doing okay but anyway if you want to find out what their feedback is like as a seller, what you need to do is go click on their name. So if we go ahead and click on their name here, that's going to bring up this page here. So as you can see, there's a couple of different elements on this page. Okay, The first thing you're going to see is that they have 95% okay, positive in the last 12 months. As you can see now, it's 854, whereas I think the actual page itself was 400 something for that particular cocktail shaker. Okay, Now, there's a couple of different elements here and one of the things I want to point out is you can actually ask them a question. Now sometimes it's a phone number here, sometimes it's another way of contacting, but you can ask them a question if you want to, okay? You're also able to see then a couple of other things. You're going to be able to see what kind of positive and negative feedback and neutral by the way that they've received in the last 12 months or over their lifetime or 30, 90 days, okay? So you can see that overall in the past 30 days there's been a 4% negative, okay? So straight away what you can see is you know a few different things here from different people of what they've said about this particular person now sometimes what people do is they'll actually type in um you know information here about the product itself not the seller so in this case just what we wanted that could be more so about that cocktail shaker that they're selling okay now if somebody in this instance here was to write the cocktail shaker arrived damage what you can do is you can actually contact amazon if they were on fulfilling it they will actually cross this out and put a note underneath saying amazon fulfill this item we take full responsibility so that can also help as well now what i would like to say also is what you can see here is, and by the way, most of these things are going to be um, Amazon based if you're using FBA. But if you were to click on products, it's basically the same as clicking on their storefront up here. But if you click on their storefront, you're basically able to see all the stuff that they sell. Okay, that particular seller, everything that they have listed on Amazon. Now, the thing about if you click on somebody's actual storefront, there could be a lot of people selling these products okay, on the same listing. Now, this is the listing that we looked at. So if you actually go back and take a look, and by the way, this is only ha going to happen if you click on a listing where you've clicked on it from someone's storefront. If you click on it from somebody's storefront, that person will automatically win the buy box, okay? Now, if I scroll further down, you can see that there is a few sellers, okay? But these particular people are going to win the buy box because you've clicked on it from their particular storefront, okay? Now, in this instance, they had already won the buy box because obviously they've stock in Amazon, which Amazon favor, they have good seller feedback, all that different stuff, okay? So let's say, for example, that these people were brand new sellers, okay? And they were selling something that 10 people are selling and they had, you know, bought a bulk amount from it and they're just trying to sell it on Amazon, okay? That person usually won't win the buy box at the very start. However, if you click on their storefront and then choose the product, they automatically win the buy box. So that's basically how simple it is to go ahead and look at somebody's seller feedback on Amazon. And just like I said in the eBay one, why, why I'm showing you this is because I want you to be aware that if you are selling on Amazon, anybody can look at your information about what others have said about you it is public information so again this is why you need to be doing exactly what you should be on amazon in terms of um you know shipping things out on the right time if you're not using fulfillment by amazon making sure that what you write in your description or your bullets is exactly what people are getting make sure that the pictures are exactly what people are getting and make sure that everybody's happy that they have a good experience and if that does happen you will have good seller feedback so that's basically it for today thanks so much for watching the video have a great day and i'll talk to you again soon